learn and get it. So today I shall be giving some more examples on the paradox on few paradox that I talked about over the past few over the past few weeks. So starting with our first paradox, and that was the paradox of choice. So in this paradox, I basically said that the, that we have more choices and it's more harder for us to choose between things. Now, let me explain. Now, for example, I went to Dunkin' Donuts last week. Over there, I found three types of donuts that I loved the most. But, you know, here comes the problem. I was only allowed to have one donut. Now, I got so confused which donut to eat that at the end of the day, I took my regular donut. And trust me, I did not like it at all. Now, moving forward to the friendship paradox. Now, in this paradox, I basically said that uh, your friends have more friends than you have. Now, trust me that I feel that too. My friends have more friends than uh, my friends. I have more friends than I have, and at certain points, I feel I I feel excluded. Now, I have noticed that in few ads, uh, certain products promises us a outcome. Now, uh, now. Here comes the liar's paradox. Now, for example, the fair and lovely cream says that after you use it, it will glow as bright as the moon. But it's not true. Now, let's now let's go to the last paradox. And I enjoyed this paradox a lot. That's the paradox of reason. Here, I said that humans have the right to make their own choices. But many choices are, but many choices are uncontrollable. Uh, but many choices are used by uncontrollable factors, way beyond their control. Now, for example, there's this child, uh, there's this child who dreams of becoming a dancer when he or she grows up. Now, he or she met an accident, and because of that accident, he or she could not, he or she could not reach his dream. He could not become a dancer and dance in front of thousands of people in a stage. So I hope you like my so I hope you like my video for today. But for now, bye.